Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live. <laughs> Hello everyone and well Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live with me Owen. Me Alison. And me Daniel. Hello everyone. What is Tonic Live? It's the part of the week uh, we're at Tonic HQ. We have a special project which our in-house crafter, the talented Salison Whelan. <laughs> Thank you very much. She's here uh, and she what makes a welcome. project. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to do for now. A big, a big, uh, a big, big wind-up. And um, yeah, so and today we're going to be yeah showing you often one of our newest launches and things like that. That's what we do on our Wednesday show at 4 p.m. So we're going to be doing a craft kit uh, again this week. So this is the second craft kit make from Alison using craft kit uh, 14, which is on its way out to you not long at all now. So the start of next week, I think the first is Monday. So yes. um, the first three days of the month, they're usually when all the kits leave the warehouse and go on their way to everyone. So you've still got time. You've got until Sunday to place your order. Um, subscribe if you like, order a one-off if you've never ordered a craft kit before and you're interested and thinking, oh, I only want to try one. Well, yeah, do that. Order a one-off, and then uh, and then we'll get it sent out for you there. So, if you can't wait, this is the best time to order because you have the most the the littlest time to wait exactly. before you receive your your kit. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to go through today. And well, it's not often I get to do an extra one, but I just love this kit, so had to do it. I'm sorry, I have to share with you another idea. Definitely. So hopefully you'll feel the same as I will. Are, are we cl are close enough for you to see the make? Yeah, maybe Dan can, can, can give it a little zoom. Well, we can show in there, there definitely. So there, there we are. So talk us through your make today, I know. So our make today is a little box, in case you haven't guessed. <laughs> but I've used as much as I could of the kit. So we've got a little bulldog clip and the box will open. So there's the start of the box. Then I've got a little magnetic clasp there and there's the size of the box so I was kind of thinking you know at Christmas you could easily put some snow on the roof um, and make it a Christmas house you could have your Christmas bunting across the window your little dog Woo! <laughs> bit of music I was going to give you a bit of background music there, <laughs> so. don't ask me to sing <laughs> <laughs> um, your little dog could have a little festive hat on um, you know snow will around the ground there's lots of little ideas and I was thinking of pet treats as well because I know a lot of you have got pets out there and you want to give your animals treats at yeah, Christmas yeah what a lovely treat box exactly brilliant That's, that was what I was thinking but it doesn't have to be for your pet it could be just somebody take the pets off and it's a normal box yeah. it could be a new home gift that would be another option for it um what else could it be well, like this, yeah like those those two are pretty key anyway like you have a new home imagine giving this little box to someone with some gifts for, for around their home or a candle or something that exactly they're gonna put in the house. and it would fit a candle because you can see how big it is you know it's, it's quite a chunky one it would fit one of those nice round candles definitely you could have easily. just you could have a two sort of build up how many, people lin in how the many lint oh, chocolates? <laughs> Who, knows? <laughs> Who knows? That would be 16. blown away, wouldn't it? But, blown yeah. away. The, the dressables, you could have sort of a bride and groom, and you could have them on yes, the front. Yes, you could. As like this could be the couple. church. The church, yes. This is the church, yeah. Nice. Well, okay. You could put, um, you know, just make it as a door rather than a window, and your bride and groom are standing in front of it. I like that. That's a good there one to pick up. That, that is. That's not bad. <laughs> there we are. We've both run off, <laughs> off the same cafe. I know. There we go. Um, we've got loads of people. So, YouTube are all with us. Uh, Craft Angel Online. Hello, Craft Angel. Uh, Kijo. Hello, friends. Hello from Hawaii. They're always so international on YouTube. Uh, Lindora in PA. What's, is that, what is, what's the PA? What's, what one's that one? I don't know. Is it Philadelphia? Philadelphia. That's, that, that's a city, though, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, no. It's yeah, PA. Is that? No, no, it's, no, it is for, I think it's a state. It's a state. I think. I, we, we I get never. confused in the UK. Oh, I'm so bad. Uh, I know Miss Tony are. Tennessee uh, with us. Hello from Finland. Uh, Boyana uh, from Victoria, Canada. And Kijo. Looking forward to this tutorial. I've been watching yeah. you with a cup of tea. And digestive. 
from Shipley. Oh, please share. Perfect way. It's <laughs> a city in the state of Pennsylvania. Hey, there we go. There two peas. Here we go. Two peas. Here we go. Okay, so I've got a piece of A4 card. So for even for American terms, you can still use um, what you call a US letter size, I think you, you call it. Um, right, where am I starting? So I'm starting along the long side of the card and I'm scoring at three and a half inches. So one score at three and a half. Then I'm turning it around and I'm doing three and a half inches again. So it doesn't matter, the size in the middle is going to be a little bit smaller for the US, but it's going to be minute. It's, um, it's something like a quarter of an inch. It's, it's a, such a small amount, it's not going to make any difference. So the next one then is a score at, hang on, I've got that the wrong way. Let me go that way. We've got another score, three and a half inches. I've already pre-scored it, that's for me to remember. And then I've got a score at seven inches. So again, this can all be, I will write all this down for you, I promise. The last score then is turn it long ways and you're gonna score half an inch just down to your three and a half inch line. So I'll go through that again with you. Score in the long side first, three and a half inches, turn it around and another three and a half inches. Then you've got, we're going on the short side now, we've got three and a half inches and seven. So if you remember three and a half inches, you're absolutely fine, you're there. And then your last tiny one is half an inch. And you're gonna repeat that on two A4 or US letter sheets of card. Your next bit then, right, that's my scoring board out the way. Scoring all done. So just fold, fold your score lines as you would normally. Your US letter size would just mean that this is a little bit smaller, which does you don't need all that to glue, it's just the fact that I wanted to use the whole sheet. And a tiny bit shorter in the middle, and that would be it. Uh, loads more people, yeah, watch from Texas, that's... Uh, Angel and Miss Angel in waiting. Uh, the YouTube names are always <laughs> strange to read out. Uh, Trudy Newman going to Tennessee next week. Uh, Kathy up from Virginia. So Lily Serving join us on Facebook. Uh, Hello, all the regulars. Hey Lily, it's always nice to see you on there. Catherine, uh, hey to see you. Paula, maybe getting a new a new dog as well. Um, oh, fantastic! So all the best. Um, and Joan as well. You managed to take. Hope you're on the way, on the men now, Joan. Hope your knees. Oh, hope your knees doing yeah, well. Yeah, you're doing Joan. well. So a spooky house treat box for Halloween. It could be a spooky house too. Sharon, you are the idea generator. It definitely could be a spooky house. You imagine having a little ghost in that window. I say, if you check, I'm checked out our Halloween stuff. You can. Um, your fish bowl could be a pumpkin. Could be. That's it. So yeah. You wouldn't, fish. Your fish bowl could be the pumpkin. Yeah. Okay, so that's all we're doing is cutting out. The little rectangle at both ends. So now we're going to start inking. So your little ink pad is in your in, the kit. in your kit. So uh, so how much of what you've used to make this today is in the kit? Right. What is? I'll tell you what's not in the kit. The only things that are not in the kit is your bulldog clip on the top, a little bit of ribbon which you can put or not put. A tiny little bit there of fishing line and two magnets. Everything else is in the there kit. There you go. So everything else that you see on this box, really cool box today, is in your tonic craft One kit. pen. One pen. And one pen. That's it. Everything else is in it. So and if glue. you can supply glue. A, <laughs> glue. a bulldog clip, some glue, a magnet and a pen, you've got everything to make this. Exactly. So there you go. Exactly. And if you do want to um, get your tonic craft kit, tonicraftkit.co.uk for the UK and rest of the world apart from the USA. USA, um, tonic 
tonic-studios.com. So the Tonic USA website, that's tonic-studios.com, and it's on the main page. Click that and you can get your craft kit. And you get one off or subscription, whatever you want. You've got an amazing amount. So that's all I'm doing is inking around the middle panels. If you see on the other one I've done, I've inked everything. But you know when you go back to something and you think, a little bit overdone there, a little bit of overkill. So it is literally around the middle panels that you need to ink. So we'll do all that now while we go in. Um, hi from Berlin, Germany, from Claude. Hello. Uh, Vivian from uh, Kuraka, I think that's it. Um, Tracy Elson's with us, Sheila. Loads of uh, loads of nice regulars on Facebook as well. Uh, and yeah, they all say take well, uh, get well soon to Joan as well. There we go, nearly done. So just keep folding your card as you go in. Oh, I tell you what, there's two cuts I should have done and I haven't. There we are. So that's enough for my inking. So the two cuts I should have done is one from the top. Your middle panel here stays in one piece. It's the other bits you cut in. So top to the middle. and bottom to the middle because these all make you flaps and I'm sure there's going to be easier ways you're going to find of doing things as well right so from there on we're going to move to our stamps we don't have a stamp block in there but I know you've had stamp blocks in previous kits so that's not going to be an issue for you I know that so you've got some little brick stamps. I'll pop the stamps there for you to see. So you've got lovely little word ends. You've got a man's best friend. You're perfect. Um, forever friends. You've had me at woof. Um, sorry to you, you're feeling rough. And puppy, and puppy love. love. So there you go, I'll stand them up there for you. So. And then you've got little I'll, I'll paw go to the top prints. So there they all are, and you can catch these on the website as well. So if you want to do have a look at these a little bit closer, you can do there. Okay, so they're going to make me lean here today. So I'm going over the centre of this box. Sorry if you can see my head upstairs. I don't know who's upstairs, but... <laughs> <laughs> The, the men upstairs. I'm just thinking it? of the camera upstairs. The top-down camera is just by held by someone. They, yeah. they, they have to lie front way. It's like Mission Impossible, <laughs> like on the... Dun, 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 dun. It's all high-tech, it's all GoPro on someone's yeah. head up there. You've got to be perfectly still. <laughs> and I actually quite like the distressed look. So I'm overlapping some of the bricks. So you get that little random image. And the, the ink you've got is your Metro Grey. We, we were talking you know, in the office a bit today, saying how interesting it is that something that distressed and things like that became a, um, something you know, that it looks cool in cards and things like that. It does. In, in that, you know, something new, like you're intentionally making something look yeah. like as if it's been like left out or not cared for in the perfect way. Oh, that's such a cool... I don't know, it's just a strange thing to, to you know. Put well, Shabby Chic's been out for a long, long time. It's, um, you know, there was a distress look in furniture. Oh, I'm going back 70s and 80s where there was rag rolling. and With distressed jeans you have as well. Yes, have yeah, loads and loads of ways of looking at things. Right, now I need to decide now how far down I'm coming with this. So I only really want to ink maybe two of those bricks. These, if like part of it, it's like giving it, the, giving it a bit of a story and a history. Exactly, like exactly. That's why an, an old, I guess, and you know, yeah, an old hope for an old project, there's a story behind it. So you're giving that kind of story and bit of Oops. history that a piece of card wouldn't usually have, but you're giving it a bit, you're giving it a bit to it. So there we go. There's one I made earlier. Don't worry about these little extras down here because they're going to be covered anyway. So we're going to glue these together. I'm just going to move that out of the way because knowing me, I will put my finger in it. So we're going to glue the tab. And as I say, if you want to cut this tab down, 
you can but it does make a nice strong box if you don't want to so uh, Kija just asked you as well she says the group uh, in the group yeah you may have seen uh, there's a lot of perfumery dyes used to make nice lanterns Ali would love to see you make one of the, one of those no problem we'll I'm one. sure when we've got when we've got a spare week I will definitely do them for you so the next one then is glue the other tab so that's all I'm doing is putting some glue and I always like to glue boxes flat because I can put more pressure on them for the glue to work and I am using the deluxe adhesive glue and it is back in stock there we go so what we're going to do now I'm going to use the smaller bricks because you've got two sets of bricks in this kit and I'm going to ink the smaller side then there we are so again just a little dab going over the centre first excuse my head and we go in over the line that we've glued so you do need a little bit of pressure Oh, that'd be a good idea. Show the card. I'll go through the card. That's now. the other thing. I use two sheets of cream card. There you go. Right. So, um, yeah, if you show down, I'll show it on the top. So I'll, I'll go through. I don't have my name list to hand, but this is what you get in uh, in your pack of card this month. So you've got some weave textured white, so bright, bright white. white. You've got a grey, so an oyster grey. Uh, and that. And Clementine. Then got, yeah, Clementine, Clementine, orange, there for you. Avocado. Avocado green. You've been spotting up. Certainly um, have. Blue. Um, denim blue. Denim blue. There you go. And this is a. Oh, um, a, it's a satin black card. velvet. Black from the satin velvet. card. Black velvet. It's a really, really nice texture on that one too. Uh, what else we got here? We got a weave textured black card as well then, uh, and you've got this one. This. Uh, that one is bronze labyrinth bronze labyrinth so you'll see in some of the pictures that we've got the awesome texture on that you can use that for finishing and you get um, a sheet of acetate as well then for you to use on your projects so that's the card uh, the card stock in there if you've ordered this month and you haven't got long to wait as you'll be dispatching the first few days of next week there we are we're nearly there so what else have we got on you uh, there we go so we flip it over and we'll do exactly the same on the other side. So we're going to tap, tap, tap. And it doesn't matter, even if they're a little bit higgledy piggledy. Because, you know, sometimes houses do have the odd loose brick or something that's moved. Especially if you're doing your haunted houses, they, yeah, they yeah. have to have something a little bit wiggly then. Um, Pam says, are we going to get to see the new tonic hybrid ink? This is a hybrid ink. Yeah, so these are uh, the hybrid inks in, inside of this one. Oh, sorry. sorry no, you're right. um, so you've got your metro grey in here. But, and if you... <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> Jam your fingers in it. <laughs> no, it was like... Smack my hand, is it? This is weird. Um, no, it's uh, we. They, if you, you may have seen some of the new packs out there. They come in packs of these three or four. Oh, do they mean the new colours? Yeah, maybe? you might mean the new colours. Um, well, after you maybe use them in, in a future project. But yeah, if you check online, there's uh, they are available now. But we'll, we'll do some sort of demo with them and show you them in in detail because there's quite a few new colours. If you've not heard of our hybrid inks and you're wondering what on earth are we talking about. Hybrid inks are an ink you can use with watercolours, but also with alcohol markers. And they're not going to bleed with your alcohol markers and they're not going to run with your watercolours. So they're quite unique that way. So there's the start of our box. So we've got our edges all done. Then the next thing we're going to do is glue your base. So if you do have a little bit of ink, Pick your best one to go on the top. So that's probably my best. So we'll we'll have that as the base. And they just all flap in one on top of the other. So it gives you, if you're putting stuff in you, like a candle, it gives you a really sturdy base to glue everything into. So there's your first one. And which one am I keeping that one? So just pop them in one at a time doesn't matter which way you do them you can do opposite sides first 
or you can just go around in a windmill shape. Um, where have we got um, Mary from uh, Western Australia with us? Hello. Hello. Um, and Sharon says, "Oh, how can you tell if a card maker loves you? They use their pretty paper when making your card. They do. And there you go. They do. Most definitely. I say if they use just A4 printer paper, you know you're not that oh, fond of it. They, they don't <laughs> like you at all, Anne. Right. So we've got the two now that haven't got the score line on the top." And we're going to pop onto those some black card. So I've cut two squares of black card, just slightly smaller than three and a half inches because I don't want it to get caught on the edges. So it literally is just a smidge smaller. So on one of these, I am going to put, I've got my magnets and they're all stuck together here. So I've done my cutting because. I think you'd be bored watching me cut in all these. Um, Trudy says, um, it's too much, I love it. Time for a new sh uh, shelf. So maybe you <laughs> look at a new product, uh, Trudy. Pamela says, I love the fact that they're, they're not water reactive. Tonic makes such wonderful products. Your demos are truly great, truly are. Thank you, Pamela, kind words from you. Mm. Um, so there's one magnet. I've put a little bit of double-sided tape on the back of these magnets and these are just, your ordinary, I think they're called neodymium. Um, I bought, I think it was 500 of them, so I've got a great big pile of them, and they weren't that expensive either. So just pop one in place, put your black card on top. Uh, Sue says, You really need to get a reusable water bottle. This is kind of reusable as I. I buy like a multi pack and I fill them all up, and then I just keep refilling them in the fridge over and over again. So I kind of, and then I recycle it, so don't be too hard on me. So then you're going to pop, I think I should have done that the other way actually, but it doesn't matter. We'll go with it now. Put your magnet on the top. I think I should have put that magnet underneath. And then we'll secure this magnet in place. So as long as you know where it's going, Give it a little press. There we are. I know where that's going now, so we're all right. It's hard to put pressure on it when it doesn't want to. That's why I should have done it the other way, I think. And that will hold together. But it would have been better having it on your outer edge, not your inner edge, if you see what I mean, as I've done on that one. Uh, Canal Crafting at 7.30 tonight, so yeah, check out uh, Paula Canal's Crafting. Uh, what are you making tonight, Paula? You can check it out on her page as well and watch that. You shouldn't refill a bottle more than three times as toxins start to gather and it came up. I don't know. When people say stuff like that, innit? Mm -hmm. Try and do your best for the environment and then... Yeah, well... That's why you need to reuse a bottle. I know. Yeah. Well, I did have a really, really good one I loved. It was like a, a shoot. So um, oh, you got a big one. Yeah. Oh, but it's a big green one. I loved it. I just can't. F I don't know where it's gone. It'll I turn up. I don't think it will. It'll it's turn up. It's in the box. Long lost family that'll be on with that. So <laughs> the little half inch you scored at the top, that is going to make your roof. So with you, I've cut two squares from my orange, and because I thought they were a little bit blingy, I thought I would tone them down a little bit with a little bit of grey around the edges. And this was kind of my terracotta roof. So we go all around the edge with a little bit of grey. But just the same as we've seen with uh, the buildables, dress balls and things like that. And you know, this one, create your own house, what, whatever your walls are like. Exactly. Whatever the colours your roof is like, what, you know, the little dog that's in the window, the personalization of it is up to you. You know, you create that cool stuff then. This could be a thatched cottage. It could be you live in a thatched house. Yeah, yeah, d oh, you could do it. I'd love a thatched How house. How would you do a thatched cottage? If you wanted to do like a th like little bits of straw, you know that? Raffia. Raffia. Go on, tell me what raffia. Raffia is like a thin, um, like, like a grassy type. Yeah, like, like you put in, if you were given like a little, you think marble in my head but that's a silly gift 
but you'd have like something. Do you know it's when you give that. like a little gift sometimes? You know sometimes when you have a hamper yes, and it's yes, full of stuff yes, in the bottom. Yes. Sometimes that's raffia. Or you'll see on rustic things, you'll see a nice big bow. I know, I know. That's raffia. That would be, yeah, you could do really cool with that. Not with marble. <laughs> no, it wasn't I like... I don't know like where the, you the get a marble. would be a marble. Oh, right, you right. know when you give yeah, a marble yeah. to someone you love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dan, have you ever given a so. gift like that? No, not yet. <laughs> Me either. He's brother. never given his marbles away. No. <laughs> And you lost your marbles I lost then. my marbles. So these squares are three and a half inches. One day I'll find Neverland. <laughs> One day you'll find your marbles, yeah, yeah, yeah. is there? Oh, I don't think I'll find mine. Glue your roof rather than your orange square. Because you've got a tiny bit of an overhang. And that is intentional. That's to make it look like the eaves on the house. So there's our roof coming together. So we've got the sides with our little leaves then we've got I've got a piece of the bronze labyrinth and this is to make now I've told this many many times and I forget it every time you know the bit on the top of the roof oh, we've been here haven't we? we've been here <laughs> I know we've been here what was that I've oh. forgotten anyone who's watched us for like forever 180 episodes yeah. ago right uh what was that the pet I can't remember. What was the bit all. on the house, which is, it was, it's the top bit, which is like, it's not the, like the other slates, it's a bent one. Like yeah. That. So you it. just stick that <laughs> to one side and the other side is loose. So that allows you then to put your bulldog clip. So it could be that you've got the little stationary ones and they are equally as good. So there's a little, little plain one, and you can just pop that on the top. You could punch holes through it and tie a ribbon. Entirely up to you what you want to do with it. The ridge tiles, Ali. Ridge, yes, that rings a bell. Vicky and David, they said. Cabin ridge. stones or ridge tiles. Yes, ridge, ridge tiles. Coping. Coping. Coping stones, yes. I'm with you there. Okay, what's our next bit now? Should we do a little bird cage first so I can show you how I've done the bird cage? Right, and so I tell you I haven't brought is a piece of double sided tape. And I know I should have and I haven't. Don't look at me. Oh, let's have a I look. don't know if we got one behind. Right, I'm trying to find my bird house. I can't see one down here. Don't worry. Leave me to it. Don't worry, I use a sticky pad for now. So I've cut oh, two little bird houses, but on the back, I've put a little bit of double-sided tape before I cut it. And then I'm going to use a tiny little bit of fishing line. And this is, it is proper fishing line, so if your husband goes fishing, then just pinch a little bit. Or they go fishing. Huh? Or they go fishing. It's very sexist to me there, no, wasn't how it? Dare you? How rude of me. Fisher women, there's yeah. plenty of them out there. I know. Too busy crafting though, you can't be like and you fishing as well. You literally need about an inch and a half. And then you're going to pop this into your roof. So I don't know, I'll try and show this. It's very hard to show a bit of fish. Oh, there we are. I think you can Shrenny, catch Shrenny. it. Yeah. Can you catch it there? Yeah. So then you take the second house where's my second house yeah, I have lost a house <laughs> you've got two there got two there houses. it is your second home so my yeah. second home so I've cut another little house again with double sided tape on the back if I can get that off or you can use our double sided sheets Whichever one you fancy. Someone, if people were saying that the picture keeps going a little bit fuzzy, that's the sound and oh. this thing going down. Any reason? Nope. No. So uh. there's, there's our tiny little house. I just think it's so cute. Then I've done the bird, and our bird is a little. Ooh, he's flown away by there. <laughs> our little bronze bird. So we'll pop a little pad on the back of him. With this humongous scissors. <laughs> um, we got. Oh, what else have we got? I put here? my snips to bring down, and I've left them <laughs> up there. You've got the biggest scissors we do. I know. Um, Sharon, <laughs> the idea generator herself has got a. If you paint the bulldog clip red, it would look like a chimney with smoke coming out. 
Yes, it would. There you go. We love in these these tips today. Let's go to Sharon. She's got she's got them all. Picture keeps freezing. People saying it could be that you're going to have the, the ghost attached to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ghost coming. Oh, your skeleton. A ghost be in the smoke. Yes. Ooh. So there's my little bird attached there, and he is going to go inside. Now I would normally attach him with a piece of double sided tape. So you decide now where you want him hanging. Because I want him hanging straight down, as you can see there. It's going to go very close to that fold line. So imagine now this is a piece of tape, all right? I know it's not. It's a little piece of um, foam pad, but it doesn't matter. Emma, we do like those sources. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Emma sending us some harvest sources. I don't know. <laughs> it's a long story. Um, uh, Renee says, uh, "Hi uh, guys and Ali, uh, how is your weather in GB? In northern Germany, it's cold and rainy. It's quite actually nice at the moment. Yeah, yeah it's not too bad. Nice sunny. So sunny. there is our little house dangling, but you can reposition it to put it where you want, because the fishing line will obviously bend a little bit, and it's entirely up to you." What I would do with the double sided tape, then I would put a little strip of card over the top of it just to hold everything in place. So that's that. And I say you get a die with the bird in, of the bird in the house. You so, do. So Joan asking, yeah, you, you do yes, get that. Yes, yes. You could open up the dies actually. Yeah, there we go. So I'll show you there. So you get your folder as well this month, so your binder um, in there. And inside, then you've got your dies. And there you can see some of the top ones there. You've got here's your little house. And this is a play school, bird. isn't it? Here's Here the house. Mm. Here's your house. Here's, here's the, the window. The Can I borrow the dies a sec? Because I'll show everyone where I've had everything from then. This is the one I used last time, I think. There we are. It's easier if I explain everything to you. So you can have that for there. Right. So our window now, I have cut one window Oops. so I've used the one with the pane the window pane in the oyster grey so that's our window then I've taken the little pell mat which is here and I've cut five of these in the denim blue you can ink them oh wrong one as I have done in here. So I've run them through the machine and then I've inked through the dye to get the, the darker edges on the curtain. But I thought I would show you the two styles so you can decide whether you want to ink or not. So you put one, I've got the one that's got the, the bow top. So I'm treating that as the top of my window. So we're just gonna pop the first one along the top try and get it so it's, it's sort of in the middle then you're going to go down the sides then with the other two oops make sure I got it the right way uh, Pamela's saying I pre-ordered the winter spruce shaker cards and elements that'll be a wonderful demo if you already haven't shown them yeah what we'll do is once we get uh, once all the the dies which went on the channel are doing our birthday start to come out exclusivity we'll go back through some of those and, and stuff we didn't have time because there yeah. were so many shows we couldn't do demos on everything during that time and we're going to go back through them and um yeah we'll, we'll have a bit of a mix of those so anything that you'd like to see yeah, drop us an email and say oh i'd love to see that in one just so i, I remember and it's on there and, and we can let ali know and, and she can Oops, create right there, yeah. okay and then we've got one more for the bottom. So that's how easy it is to put your curtains in. It's not like hanging them at home, is it? Mm. Getting up on a step ladder. <laughs> so there's your curtains, all done. But again, you've got bunting in there, so you can hang your bunting across your window. That could be Christmas, it could be a birthday. Um, it could be a christening, it could be a christening present or a new baby present. It's a good size box that you can put anything in. Have the stalk drop in a baby into yes. the roof. Yes. 
definitely. Beat you to that one, didn't I, Sharon? Be so, best Sharon was just thinking about that, and then I got <laughs> you, didn't I? <laughs> our next bit now is our little dog. So here's our little dog. Let's turn that one off now. So we got our dog face, which is you, and this is our little dog die. So there's this little muzzle there, which is when I find it. It's in all my bits here. So I've got two years there. I've got a muzzle. And I've got a tiny, tiny nose. And I have seen it. The nose is so tiny, it's unbelievable. So if I don't find it, I may well find it later. Yeah, I can't see the nose at the moment. I'm sure by the time I've stuck everything on, It'll the nose will appear. There we are. And then I've got two little paws. So we got a black face this time, so that'll change things up a little bit. So we'll pop. You've got his little eyes that are in place there. So that the little, little muzzle goes underneath his eyes. A little bit too much glue there, I got a bit overzealous, I think. Um, yeah, Tom making a few cards. Hope your cards are looking good. You're sharing them on the group, Tom, if you are. Excellent. Um, is, is there any ball? Is there any die for the ball of seeds for the bird? Oh, I don't know if that's oh. how, how small a die would that be? <laughs> Lordy, I don't <laughs> think you'd be keeping that one long. Die. <laughs> I love that, Lily. Um, there we are. So there's one year. And then we got the second year. As I say, there is a nose year and I will find it. So there's his little ears. And you can either use crystal drops or you can use a gel pen to do the eyes. Uh, Tree says you could use floral or pine sprigs to make it look like a garland around the window, definitely. You could, um, you could. And it's, uh, uh, Tracy says, how about making smaller boxes and making 24 for an advent calendar for your pets? That, awesome. you are that is you're on my you're on there that. and now i love that right so i want to pop him so that he is he's peeping around the curtain i think i'm just deciding so there he is he's a really real cutie but i think he's got to be popping around the curtain because that's what little dogs do so we'll have a little bit of glue there and there he is. So he is ever so cheeky. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a backing panel just on the back here. Um, Lion Teen says, Oh, could you do a step by step with the spine uh, demo? I know loads of people are, are asking about that with the, uh, the memory book and things like that. So we, we're going to go through those and, and do some basic makes for you. I'm so a little bit tied up in the office at the moment, yeah. but as soon as I can, I am going to get a list of videos together and I am going to sort them all out for you. So if you want to send them in, put your list, we'll put a list together. I'll have, yeah. maybe you could do that for me, oh. And I'll, I'll do. I'll, yeah. And as you see him coming in, maybe you can make I'll a list. I'll jot them down. Lily said, I just had to reminisce when, oh, I didn't know what to put in his grand's bird house to attract the birds. Yeah, fat balls. Oh, back in the yeah. Day. <laughs> that's I'm old school. The that's fat a, that's balls. about 100 and pff, however many episodes ago. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, the, the story was like, my nan had a bird house, but she had a fake bird on there. And we, me and my dad were like, is the fake bird scaring away the birds? <laughs> and then everyone was like, oh, I'll just get some fat balls on there. And then it just went from there, really. And then your yeah. nan had loads of birds no. then, didn't she? She did, she did. She had lots. So there's my window. And then I have cut, you've got another outer window as well, that I've cut as well. And that is going to be a backing panel. That's why I put the white on the back, because I didn't want a black. It'd be a bit macabre, wouldn't it, having a black wall in your room? But if it's a Halloween one, yeah. it could well be that's what you want. So there's my, my wall. Then I've got my windowsill. So my windowsill, I want to sit so that his little head is just coming over the windowsill. So I'm going to pop some foam pads on there. Oh, they're a little bit too wide, so we'll 
you chop them. Um, Ricky just tuned in another brilliant kit, can't we? Loving what I saw the sample earlier. Um, yeah, loads of people loving it. Oh, Lisa, sorry, I missed your question earlier. Are, are you going to be releasing the big craft knives for general sale, please? The big, big craft knives. Is that the one that we put in the kit? Is that the one, Lisa? If so, I think that's how it. I think it's it's available. I Ch think that's check been out there for craft knife. Wild, it's like it? yeah, a chunky chunky orange one. Ch is that the one, Lisa? Yeah, it did go in one of the kits, but I think I think it's out there. Try we'll try on our website to see if you can see it. The craft knife, I think it's called. Right, there we are. So now we've got two little paws as well. So they have got to go. Whoops, make sure we get them the right way. They have to go on on the outside of the windowsill because that's what dogs do. That's what my dog does anyway, if he has chance. So two little foam pads on the back. You do get foam pads in your kit. Um, they are 12 mil foam pads this time. So we've even thought of that. Yeah, you got your foam pads in there. Yeah, it is the one in the kit. Uh, it was 203E. Uh, which is the 18 millimeter push grip craft knife. Uh, we also make a slightly smaller one, which is a nine millimeter craft knife, which is 202E then as well. So if you Google that, uh, 202E uh, on or there, and, and or 203. Or 203, and you've got breakable blades, things as well, so you've got loads of uses on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's this little pause on, on the window. So then I did the fishbowl. So I've used the acetate that's in the kit. It has got a film on it. You need to scratch one side and the film will come away. It doesn't cut all the way through, I will say that, because this is construction acetate. But if you run your scissors around, it cuts really, really easy. But the, the dye will put an indent into it. I guess as well, you can do, you know, dies, they won't cut some materials, really thick ones. These are these are designed as card and paper but you, dies. But you can use them as a guide if, exactly. if that's what you want and do that in that indent. So I wanted to show that there was water. I'm going to go over here a minute just so that you can see. I wanted to show we had a bit of water in there. So I've used just an alcohol marker pen and I have just popped a little bit of water into my bowl. Switch, switch over, Dan, I think you're on that so. Oh, sorry, lovely. Oh, oh, there we are. I'll, I'll hold it up to the, to the thing if you can't see it. So there you go, you can see can it. Can I see it there? I think you can, pretty much. I have got... Oh, I found the nose as well for the dog. Hey. I knew I'd seen hey. it. Yay! Yeah, How does your dog smell without a nose? Someone said that. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah, oh, well. I just thought it was like... I thought I was waiting for a punchline. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> yeah. So I've used I've used the two textures of black. Because you've got the, the black velvet, which is a very, very matte card, and you've also got the jet black, which is your, your linen effect card. So use those to work with each other. My little fish. I've never seen anything in a dye so cute. Now mind about bird food. Look at this <laughs> fish. How can you not love him? <laughs> Look how little he's not he even is. Gonna, they're only going to see it. Look how little he is. Can you see him? Yeah, kind of. He is so There diddy. you go, you got him. He's just fabulous. He's going to dive into his bowl. Well, that's all you need is a little bit of Nouveau glue. And it dries clear. So I'll pop a little bit of glue on your bowl with your fish. Even though it's looking um, like it's a bit milky at the moment, it will dry clear. So we're going to stick that. So I'm just going to put the glue behind the fish and then we'll pop that in place. So we've also got the fish bowl, as I say, which could be the pumpkin. So there, Go on, on, on are, the we, near, are we near, Dan? Oh, sorry. So there's our little fish bowl on the windowsill because the dog's not going to worry about the fish bowl. He's a good dog. No. 
and this then will stick onto the front of our house. So make sure that I'm just looking where I've got the opening for the box. Where have I got it? This side, I think. There we are. There's my opening. So we'll pop this on the front with with a couple of foam pads. Just checking what I did on the last one. And it just gives a little bit of dimension, a little bit of something different there. And then I thought, go on. So on, on this step of one, can you can it open from any way that you really wanted it to? If if you say you wanted yeah. the front to come out like that? Um, not so much with our box. Because but, but if you redo You like, could. You could. You could do it. it. If you want, like I don't want you to want it, but <laughs> still it's fine. My window sells a little it's bit of the It's an option for you. Yeah. Catherine, yeah, I do remember the card you made for my nan. She loved that. Oops. My window sill's gone a little bit astray, but we can adjust that. So there's our little window on the front of the house. So then we've got... Let me get rid of all these little bits, because the die cuts are so small that I'm going to mix them up. So I've done some little rabbits. But I've also done, if you have a look on one of these, I've done a grey rabbit and he wasn't showing up very well. So I've put a little black rabbit behind him to act as a shadow. So we'll do the same again. So I've got my grey rabbit with his little pom-pom tail. He's got a little black tail, bless him. And again, I've done the eyes with a gel pen on you because because of drying basically so that's all i'm doing is putting the one rabbit behind the other and just bringing it down a little bit so it makes it looks like look like he's got a shadow behind him so he can sit on the outside of the house there we are, be now. this is awesome i love this project you could have a thinking then because you could have like a little spotlight or something or lights in the garden you know you, you, you go as mad as you want you, you, know, you can do a nice little garden or something on the front you know so he's just creeping around the corner there but what is he after he's after the plants you've got two plant pots that you can use here and you know they all like a bit of greenery don't they these rabbits so that's where he's sneaking around for. He's after the plant pot. And you've got two plant pots. You've got one that looks like a traditional plant pot, and you've got one that could be a vase. So it could be a vase on the windowsill with some flowers in. I've even got a little flower. You've got one more sheet of card that I've forgotten to bring down, and it is actually this chiffon pink. Someone, yeah. it's on my desk and that's the chiffon pink that little pink flower beautiful colour pink so I've got a couple more little rabbits that I can dot around and this one is going to be after we've got a little bush here and another plant pot somewhere so here's the other plant pot And use the bush I mean these are something you could do with your children as well because I'm sure they would love making up stories you could cut all the little win you know the little cats dogs make up stories with them and then when you finish them put everything back inside as a storage and then you can get it out another day then when the children want to play again lovely so you know raffle prizes if you're doing a fake or something like that or you're doing a, a stall yeah, imagine these, wow. Well. There we go, we've got awesome. another couple of rabbits so we can dot around. Because you know what rabbits are like. What are they like? Well, they get everywhere, don't they? Once you every go one, you've got 20. <laughs> or once you go two, rather, you've what, got yeah. 20. Can you buy more? Yeah, of course. I don't, I don't know, I'll well, where are you going with that? <laughs> I know you don't, Dad. I know you don't. But we leave it at that. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, I guess. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> 
and i think i've come to the end of my little bits and bobs you can even stamp on ribbon i've used the stamp on a little bit of ribbon there mm -hmm. um oh, and that great. is like little paw prints on the ribbon yeah because you've got little paw prints in the kit so they oh, are yeah, see, yeah, absolutely yeah. gorgeous awesome but you could put whatever you like in there it could be a pet lover or your actual pets that's because you can have like something like because you can have all this you can have the house at the front but then you can have what's going on at the back like sort of the rabbits having a party or exactly <laughs> exactly having a good time and then you got all this at the front then yeah brilliant brilliant that's how make loving it e everyone's loving it this awesome project so yeah if you enjoy this and you want to make your own then you're going to need the tonic craft kit and you're going to need craft kit 14. well go on tonicraftkit.co.uk uh, for the uk and the rest of the world if you're in the usa uh, go on tonicagonstudios.com and on the main page and you can click the banner and it'll take you to there um yeah loads of people loving it uh they're brilliant thanks for the demo adorable says tammy a wonderful project from Catherine. um love it says tracy as well brilliant we haven't even mentioned the other bits in the kit we haven't and that's just it you get a sticker as well you get a sticker <laughs> all of us a sticker you, you, you for get your fridge magnet the uh the calligraphy pen uh the signature calli calligraphy pen um you also get your colored pencils Watercolor as pencils. well Watercolor a three pack there's a few different packs in there so the colors may depends vary. on which colors may vary you've got your mousse your embellishment mousse here yeah. you could have put your mousse around the roof if you wanted to mousse around the roof mousse around the roof mousse in the house. around the house. around the house. <laughs> Um, and you can have this color, so I'm just trying to get the color. Um, copper blush. It's a copper blush. I think. I couldn't think that. Right that. And uh, and you got some embossing powder as well. You could uh, emboss the rabbit. White embossing. Uh, White embossing. Done that. And your stamps. And you get yeah, all that's in your tonic craft kit this month. And we're dispatching it starting next week. So yeah, you don't have long to wait. So if you if you're it interested, and uh, yeah. they'll be there. So yeah, uh, it will be like Monday, Tuesday next week. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Fantastic. we'll be dispatching. So thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in on YouTube and on can Facebook. Can I just do a quick demo for Trisha? You can. She wanted to know how to put together our festive flurry um, little gift box. So you cut two of the main die. If you want to put the holes along the top, then you put them in now, and you put them in each of the four panels, and they will tie up together. Then fold all your lines. It's very, very quickly. And I think once once you've been shown, Trisha, you'll be flying away with them. So there's all your score lines. Your triangle line in the centre there, just pinch it on both sides and it'll be fine. Don't worry about the top one at this point. So the same again. Fold all your score lines. Once you've made your first, I'm sure there'll be a hundred of them you're making because everybody will want them. There we are. So there's your, your box all folded. Gluing it together then is just along the flap here. A little bit of glue. Glue your box together. Give it a little press. Oh, <laughs> maybe not move it that quickly. <laughs> Give it a little bit of time. It's got a bit of craft pattern about it, doesn't it? I know, <laughs> I know. There we are. Flying so bring flying. again. Fold. Do all your folds flat on the desk because it is much much easier. So put your glue down and press your edges together your base of your box you've got four squares exactly as we've had with the one that we've used today so just glue your bases in place a little bit of glue put one side in same again and the other side so just fold them in one at a time that's your base done. Your sides then will squeeze in. Your top, if you've got your holes going through the top here, you can put your ribbon through. 
if you haven't then oops if I can get one of these off there's always room for a paper clip I don't think I meant to get these off you know here we are there we are poppy little clip on the top so this could have your pretty ribbons coming off it your little gift tag hanging from it I haven't seen the shape of it. There you go. So that's your bag. Hope that's helped. Yeah. And obviously you're going to do it a little bit better and not as quick as me. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, uh, enjoy that. If you hopefully that helped you out, and yeah, more tutorials to come from us on these specific things. So yeah, have a great evening, everyone. Thank you so much for for joining in. I hope you've uh, subscribed to the craft kit. Uh, but we'll see you tomorrow for the daily, and then Friday for Showtonic Showcase. See you soon.